Ciao ragazzi, lesson four. Last week in the lunge where we actually did the lunge with the gain and glide to hit the opponent, we then also saw a parry and riposte in the recovery time of our enemy. This week we're actually going to look at the next part of rule two, which is the extender version, where we must attack our opponent in safety behind a closed line, as well as retreat in safety behind a closed line. This means we must control the opponent's sword, not only in attack, but in defense. From our one guard position, when we initially make our game, hitting with the repose, hitting with the, the lunge, it would normally hit the opponent. However, if our opponent is a man of education, he would parry with the game. Thus, putting us into a position where we are going to be hit on the recovery. What we must do in this case is we've gone from defensive to offensive. As we start our recovery, we must come back to a defensive angle. So we actually turn from our offensive angle to the defensive angle as we pull the head back in our recovery. This again pulls our sword up the opponent's blade, bringing our forte towards the middle of their blade, giving us back control as we pull back. And now, even on our recovery, we would only pull the body back, our opponent cannot hit us on a full lunge. We're still in a place of safety, then we can actually either hit them or recover in safety. At speed, it would look like this. Okay, lunge, arrow recovery, in complete safety. Let's do a few more tacks of that. Yep. I'm just going to let it run. Okay, lunge. <laughs> okay, lunge, recovery, keeping us safe. Similarly, if we do this with the game to the outside, it's the game, the lunge, with the hand in the second this time, again, pulling back into our defensive angle. Let's do that again. Again, lunge, pulling back into our defensive angle. Okay. That concludes lesson four. The recovery and safety behind a closed line.